Hello guys and welcome back, this time, let's talk about geometry nodes, the very basic of it, and in specific how we can scatter or distribute objects around any scene. A method that works with many things including trees, grass, and people, the main keys in exterior arch viz scenes. First thing you need to do is get your hand on some of those key assets, in this tutorial we will work on trees distribution, but you can go with anything in mind. The trees I have here are from Sketchfab and they are free to download, I will put down the link for those ones. I did separate each tree in a different collection and that will help us in importing them separately as linked objects. And by the way, you can download this from the links in the description box to follow along with us. I will make a new collection for the trees and you can import them as objects using append or with a simple copy process between files, still using link mean you leave the trees main load on the previous file, and we need that. So go to file, link, and choose the trees destination, then inside the collection folder, choose the three trees and import them, if you select the main tree collection, it will import as one objects and we don't need that, we need them separated like this, each one by itself. Let us now open a new workspace and switch it to geometry node, the main idea here is to scatter those trees on the landscape surface. So select that object, whether you following with us or you have maybe a street you want to scatter something on, then in the geometry node, hit new. This will add an input and output for the selected geometry. What we need now is a distribution node which scatter hollow points on the surface, and you can see the node name on it, it's called distribute points on faces, once you plug it, the main surface will disappear, and a number of dots will replace it. Those are the points added by the node we just plug, and we can control their numbers with the density value, to get the surface back along with those points, we need a join geometry node, this last one works like a mix node, which means if we plug the geometry input along with the distribute on it, it will give us the result we need. After that we need to replace those points with the trees we have. To do that add another node after the distribute points called instance on points, and as the name says, this will put a selected object in each point place. To assign the trees in the instance node, we need to plug the trees in the instance slot, so drag the trees collection before the instance point and connect it to the right slot. Once you do that, and if you like me working on a machine that runs with god blessing, the scene will start crying from lagging and maybe even crash after a while, so the first thing we need to do is to make the trees in a low poly form inside the viewport, we do that with a switch node and we plug it after the tree collection. The switch node has three slots, at top you have the switch plug, then you have the true and false, depending on the switch, it will determine which value show up in the viewport, while the other show in render, means we can make the trees show up in render as high resolution trees while keeping them low poly in the viewport. Once I put the collection on true, it will disappear in the viewport since the false plug still empty, so to fill it, you have two ways, you either go back to the tree file, and make a low resolution copy of the trees, put them on a different collections each by itself, and import them in the scene, then drag the collection like we did before and connect it to the false slot. The other way is to make them look low resolution is by using a node called convex hull, this new node will go between the tree collection and false slot, and here is the low resolution form of the trees, or what we call proxy, an important key if you work with environments, and now we can navigate in the scene without any heavy loads even if we increase the trees density, however, if we render this now, it will give us proxy shapes not the trees, to fix this, we need an extra node in the switch called IS viewport, with this also we might need to switch the true and false on trees and proxies to get them back in the right order, proxy in the viewport, trees in render, once you do that and hit render, the trees will show up as we need them to be. 
If we switch to shading mode, you might find the proxy color ugly AF. To change it, you just need to add a set material node right after convex, you can after that make any new material and assign it there. Another thing to fix is intersecting objects, cause if you look closely at the proxies, it look like there are objects stacked on top of one another, we can fix that in two clicks, first enable the pick instance option right here, then go to the tree collection info and enable separate children. What we need now is to randomize both the scale and rotation on those trees, to do that we need a node called random value, add it, then make a copy of it using shift D. First node will go into rotation, and since those are trees, we need the randomization on the z axis only, so on the rotation line, add a combine xyz node, then make it on the z axis. You can after that change the low and max value for the randomization, or change the seeds to get different results. The second value node will go into the scale input, then we just need to experiment with the low and max value to get a randomization on the tree's scale. And that's the basic of it, just simple connections to get the process done, and if we select those five nodes, the ones controlling the instance trees, we can hit Ctrl G and make them into a node group, that will make it look much easier to digest. You can rename the group from the side panel, you can select it and hit Tab to open the nodes inside. We can do a different group with the random rotation nodes, and by plugging the input slot to the max value. We can control it from outside the group, so it comes back to like 5 lines on this node's tree. Last thing to do is having full control over the density, to do that we need to connect it under the main input node, and by doing that the density slide will show up in the modifier area. If we hit this icon near the value, it will reset the density, then we can control it by many ways, the one I think the easiest is the weight paint, and if we switch to weight paint mode, the surface will show up in a blue color, meaning zero weight, but once we start drawing, it will turn into gradient from red to blue, as red being a value of one, so the idea here is, I need trees everywhere but not in the river path so I will work it backward, I will paint only the river path with red, then invert the drawing, and you can draw as you want cause really not that much will show up in the final render frame, and you probably will adjust the colors along your work couple of times. We can now go back to the modifiers tab and select the weight group as a density value, this way the tree's distribution can be easily controlled with the weight brush. Some areas need to be empty from trees, so just put the weight on zero for blue color, and paint on the surface. One last thing is the original three trees we linked to the scene and sometimes you can't just move them around and apply a location on it, especially if you've been working for a while, or the pivot keep going back to the world origin point, so too easy way to fix this, first if you don't care, you don't move the trees you move everything else, and that won't affect the geometry nodes. The second way which is better is to turn off the camera visibility on the three trees from the object data, cause you can't just turn it off from the layers restrictions since we have the collection info in the geometry nodes. And that's it, make sure to like the video so that it might reach others, and feel free to ask anything down in the comment section, see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.